What's up everybody? Pal702 back today with a another high-end single coil RDA review. <laughs> That's incredible, sir. I'm, I can't tell you how excited I am. I guess we're just gonna make a week of it, of single coil, couple high-ends, one mainstream reviews. Last week was squonkers, this week we're doing some singles. So the D Mods solo. RDA. This thing came out. Oh, geez. I'm late to the party. I'm not late to the party. I'm late to the review party. This thing came out probably close to a year ago. And this was a gear swap between me and the legendary fictitious character. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, what we did way back, I don't know, five months, six months ago, five months, I don't know. He'll tell me, because he knows everything, trust me. He's the vaping encyclopedia. We made a deal. I'm gonna send you some badass Filipino shit, and you send me some of your gourmet, high-end, European slash, just high-end anywhere, single coil RDA, or something like that. And so he sent the D-Mod solo, and I, I got this right around the same time as I got the Hussar review, just kept getting pushed back, pushed back, pushed back, pushed back. And I'm doing We Wednesdays, and then I feel like I'm not showing the love for Fictitious Character. So, what we are going to do right now is we are going to go downtown with the D-Mod Solo Single Coil RDA. I'm going to show you all around this. This thing has got some uh, pretty cool, pretty innovative things on the deck. We're going to listen to some great music, a request by Fictitious Character. Then we're going to pop back up. Pros, cons, you know we do it. D Mods Solo RDA by D Mods, manufactured in Malaysia, I believe. All right, just a simple little plastic tube, very similar to the stuff that like Haku and a lot of other high ends come. You get a little baggie of extras. I stress little. <laughs> you get, uh, you do get a solid 510, although I would never ever in a million years ever drip on this. You get some extra grub screws, a couple O-rings, and you do get an Allen key, but I just threw it in the bag of all my other Allen keys, but it comes with an Allen key as well that will fit your 510, your squonk, or your solid 510, and your, and your post holes. And this is the Solo RDA by D-Mods. First off the bat, let me just tell you how small this thing is. It is 22 millimeters in the width, and the top from the bottom of the deck to the top of the cap, it's 17 millimeters. So this is a very small, condensed, single coil RDA. Translation is flavor. Very, very sleek, small, kind of has a the stepped down, reduced top like this. Armor had this, a couple other ones, how it kind of, like the Antheon, how it's kind of stepped up like that. On the bottom right here, you will see it says D-Mods, Solo, and serial number 1144. And you can see you have a silver plated copper 510, some very nice threading, peak insulator right there, another O-ring at the base. And we're starting with the base of this today because it has a feature on it where you can line up your air hole. Your air holes are your logos, depending on, you know, when you put it on a mod, some people like the air holes to like face out towards where the, where the firing switch is, or sometimes people like it facing towards them. Basically what this bottom allows you to do is you can screw this down on your mod. Once it's tight, this presses down and turns. Basically this entire base will spin around 180 degrees once this is tightened so you can line up your logos or your airflow. It's hard to push it in with your fingers and do it. It's much easier to do it on, on an Addy stand. Let's just try it really quick. So there it is. It's tight. You press it down and push and now it's completely on the other side. See? And you can press down again. Okay, so it's turned this way right here and it's all the way down to the deck. Press down. Now it's turned this way. Now to remove this, you just 
spin it counterclockwise and you'll hear it catch a click and then you're, you'll actually be able to unthread it. So listen. Well, right there it caught. Now it's gonna un unthread. So it's just, it's something I don't know if any other RDA has done this, but it's for aesthetic reasons really. Like, you know, if you're gonna take a bunch of pictures of your RDA and your mod and you want your airflow not to be facing the picture or you do want it to be facing the picture, it just allows you to, to move it around. And it works much better on a spring-loaded 510 than a self-adjusting one. Like, if I put this on my plug, it has a, an SVA 510. You guys know you have to, you know, mess with the bolt down there and mess with the 510. And so this is much easier to sit flush on spring-loaded, but it's a self-adjusting 510. You can still use it. Uh, if you throw a beauty ring on it, if there's a gap, it makes it even easier. Just letting you know, Spring Loader 510 is, makes this little airflow realignment, or I don't know what they call it, but it makes that feature much easier to use. Now on the top, you will see, it says DMOD Solo RDA. All the way across the top here. And this nice little Delrin cap. It does come with a drip tip, Pro, right there, drip tip. So here's your little 510. It's got an O-ring on it. Other 510s will fit in there. You don't have to use D-Mods, but it just looks so nice. So airflow, if you want to adjust it, you just turn the cap. And anything that happens on this side will happen on this side. It's very, very basic as far as how you adjust it from the outside. So you can see this spinning bottom makes everything a little bit more cumbersome when you're adjusting it. Once you get it set up, it's good. Now it's, it's wide open again, and you could see the size. Unless you're gonna do mouth to lung, I'm guessing that the majority of people are gonna run this wide open, because this is, like the Hussar, it is very, very restrictive. Top cap, inside the top cap, you can see it does have a little step down chamber reduction, and then you'll see a couple of tabs on this side and on this side. And what this does is this top cap actually connects to the post, to the positive and the negative post. That's why this isn't uh, stainless steel or any type of metal, because it would short. And I will show you why it connects in, in a minute. It has to do with multiple airflow settings that you can use depending on which cap that you have. It's just very clean, very basic, very small. This is a stealthy, sexy looking cap though, I'm telling you. What you got under the hood? This is the deck of the Solo RDA by D Mods. Now we are just gonna start off with the airflow. To me, this is the coolest thing about this RDA. The airflow, you'll notice you have holes up top here and here, or you have side airflow. The reason I'm going to this directly after showing you the top cap is because I showed you those two notches on the inside of the top cap. Both those notches will plug They'll still rest right in the top, so you're only using your side airflow. Now they make the opposite airflow caps as well. They make airflow caps that go in and plug the side and only take in air from the top, essentially making it a leak-proof RSA. If you're gonna run the top, you have to squonk like I don't even know your entire bottle into here if you're gonna get anything to come out. I mean, it won't leak if you're using your top and even the side, it's hard, it's very hard to make this thing leak because there is an angle. The airflow comes in at an angle. Not a really sharp angle, but it does fire down on both sides. You're gonna wanna keep that in mind when you're placing your coil. There aren't any like coil jig cutouts, but where your coil rod goes, you're pretty much spot on with your positioning and you can always tweak it. This part of the build is subjective. Whether you want it directly middle, so it's like a almost hitting it from the side or you wanna raise it up a little bit, but just remember that this thing is only 17 millimeters tall, so I wouldn't raise it up too much, otherwise you'd have to worry about spit back. All the machining on here, you know, it all looks great. You can see some like buffing stuff, I don't know. I, I think anytime it's got that kind of brush finish on it, I think it looks cool. I don't know if that's a bad thing or a good thing, but I think it looks pretty badass. Peak insulator right here. There's your squonk pin, and it is raised 
on this positive post right here. So it's raised just like maybe two millimeters off the deck. So when you squonk, you know, you still will have a little bit of liquid that will remain in your deck. It won't suck everything back down. On the sides, you have a very, very tall for, for how small this thing is. This juice well, it's, it's rather large. You know, you have both your O-rings right here. Juice well on this guy is going to be about four and a half milli millimeters, but it doesn't stop here. It stops right here if you're using your side airflow. So call that seven or eight milliliters. Or if you're gonna use the top airflow caps, it goes all the way up to here. So your juice well would be as tall from the top of this post to the bottom of this deck, which is massive. That's why in the beginning I would say, I don't know why you would drip on this thing, because if you're running Either or, you know, the side or the top, this thing is virtually leak proof. Let me just break out a top for you really quick. So this right here is the same, it comes from D-Mods, same material as the side, but you'll notice you can't see any airflow. It's because all the airflow comes between from that little slit right there. And if you look in, you will see the tabs they're coming in from the side on each way. So when you put this on top, kind of want to remotely line it up, you just kind of turn it, this cap snaps right on. Now the cap is on and your airflow is coming in right through that little crack right there, all the way around. Instead of having your side, you have top airflow and you've essentially have yourself a leak proof RSA. Pretty badass, I really like out of everything on this deck, the way that you can use this side or this top airflow. The top airflow like this reminds me of the basics by 5A's, the version one or 1.1 or either one of them, which I have and I still haven't done a review, but I promise I'll do one. Very, very, very cool though, love it. Also, they didn't give you the little tiny shitty flathead grub screws. They give you some nice Allen key screws look at that so so easy pops right up you can see right there where your your leads go in there's no really hook or anything to stop it from sliding out so you kind of want to hold them as you're as you're tightening them down and you can see this is not going to take massive wire but you don't need massive wire i mean it's 17 millimeters in height do what you want to do but i mean i'm not going to be sticking an alien in here or anything like that just a small Small, small, small fuse clapped and build. Same thing on the other side. So there's no one side that's closed off or one side that's open like the Haku. Both sides are the same. This type of RDA, and I know this is subjective, but just like the Hussar, it really thrives with a, a bit of a higher build in it. You can go lower on this one, at least I, I do. You know, you can go in the 0.25s and the 0.28s, or the Hussar, I'm usually, you know, 0.4, right around there. This seems to do a little bit better with lower builds, but not, not extremely low. And I believe they designed this to not take big fat coils for a reason, because your coil is gonna be an inch from your lips and it's going to sizzle your mouth off. On the airflow adjustment, just to see what it's like on a mod, this is all the way down, this is turned all the way down, and if I push, right there, it locked. You have all of that circumference to adjust your airflow but once it locks then it actually unscrews so when you put it on if you like where it's at that's fine if you're trying to move it you just push down and then all the way until you hear it right there so you have all of that adjustment without your 510 that's your 510 is not tightening or loosening it is all in the bottom of the deck comes right off. With this bottom design, how it spins, you know, it's, it's really hard to show you on camera because I can't push it in and turn it. It works so much better when it's on top of a mod or an Addy stand, but hopefully you understand. What, you know, what the fuck are you talking about? Being that FC is, uh, I mean, he wakes up in the morning and he pisses high end. That's what he does. Am I crazy? He sent me, this looks like a black Ultim. This is a 24 millimeter cap. Check this shit out. You gotta line up. Look at that. Now you have a 24 millimeter 
So if you want it to look a little bit larger on the mod or whatever, and you don't want to use a beauty ring, you have this. But it's pretty badass. It's like a, you can see through it. It's almost like kind of like a charcoal. I'm sure there's a name for this fictitious character. This is your comment, <laughs> whatever the name of this is. But it looks really badass. It looks super badass. You got the top Airflow 24. You have the top Airflow 22. You have a side Airflow 22. And since Fictitious knows me so well, you have a Piss Ultim color 22, which is side Airflow. And he kept telling me something about this, like, you know, if this this wasn't real or it wasn't, this is the only one that wasn't from D-Mods or whatever. I don't really know, it says D-Mods on it. So if it's like a clone, this top cap or whatever. I don't know, I rather like it. I think it looks good. Look at this thing. Yeah? No? Maybe? Okay, I like it. And Fictitious sent me a beauty ring, but it's on one of my other RDAs. I probably will run a beauty ring on here. Isn't that nice? Look at all this, you got couple of top airflow 22 and 24s, a couple of side airflows. So lots of options on how you want to use this top or side airflow. So that's it on the on the Dmod solo per request of fictitious character. Hit it. color in your cheeks Do you ever get that feel that you can't shift the tide that sticks around like so much in your teeth Are there some aces up your sleeve Have you no idea that you're in deep I dreamt about you nearly every night this week How many secrets can you keep Cause there's this tune I found that made me think of you somehow when I play it on repeat until I fall asleep spilling drinks on my settee Do I want to know if this feeling flows both ways Sort of hoping that you'd stay the goods Been wondering if your heart's still open and if so I wanna know what time it should Simmer down and poker up I'm sorry to interrupt It's just I'm constantly on the cusp I've tried Been to kiss you If you wanted to And that was some Arctic Monkeys and the Solo RDA by Dmods on top of the Vicious Ant Diamond 18650. Ultimate top cap. The beauty ring is from my Entheon, just so you know. But it looks fucking awesome. Let's take it for a vape.
Not so much. <laughs> Excellent strategy. D mod solo RDA pros and cons. We're gonna start off with the cons and on the pros because we always end on a positive note, especially on fictitious character Friday. So, what do I think of this solo RDA? Con wise, first con is going to be the base plate that moves, airflow adjustment thing. It does make things more difficult. I mean, if you spend a little bit of time with it and figure it out, it's not that difficult. But for what you get, the benefits, is a, the costs outweigh the benefits. Let me just say that. Unless you're like fucking super crazy anal and you, your logo or your, your airflow has to be a certain way. If you're one of those guys that, that thinks that if you unscrew your RDA and then start it at a different thread that it's gonna end up in a different spot and you've noticed that never works, it's because you have to adjust like the 510 itself. All very acidic above the shoulders mustard shit. Mm -hmm. right? mm -hmm. It kind of wakes some people out. Took me a while to learn that. So if you're one of those guys, then this isn't gonna be a con. So this is a subjective con. I just think that this, this RDA didn't need that, but it's there. So learn how to use it, don't learn how to use it. You're kind of forced to learn how to use it because when you tighten it, all of a sudden you'll, you'll get tight and all of a sudden the thing will start moving and you'll keep tightening it and then it'll just lock and then it's done. By default, just keep turning it until it stops. That's my best suggestion to you. Otherwise, you know, take the time and familiarize yourself with it and you know, it makes sense. One more con. The, where your leads go in, I wish that it had some type of a hook like on, um, I think the wasp has a hook, but anytime where they slide in like that, it's always nice when it when it cut, it's kind of cut down, so the leads don't slide out. If you I don't know if you can see in the build portion or if you'll see there was one um, lead in particular. Every time I went to screw it down, it would pop out. But I mean, you can just hold it, screw it down. Not a big deal, but just something that's kind of easy that they could have machined in is just kind of put a little ditch in there to keep it from sliding out. So. It is how, 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 say when, height wise. We're gonna start up here, just tell me when. I'll start in the bottom. Other than that, those are my only two cons. Pros, 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 pros on the Solo RDA by Dmods. First pro, you just gotta come out the box with the looks. Thing looks badass, whether you have the black or like the black Ultim or like that charcoal color or this Ultim, it looks super badass. It's extremely low profile. I mean, this thing is fucking tiny. Naturally, it looks killer on this. This is the beauty of 18650 mech squonkers. They're so small. And when you put a low profile single coat RDA on like this, I don't think anything looks better. Like it just, it just looks killer. If you want to look high end, this is the setup right here. Just roll around like this, you know, tell them fictitious character sent you, and they'll know. Next pro is gonna be how they did the airflow, how you have different top caps, and you could utilize side airflow or top airflow, and the top airflow is virtually leak proof. Even the side airflow, when you guys saw me squonk this thing, without even a, a top cap on it, it wasn't leaking. Like it comes up over, it rolls over the coil and it doesn't come out the air hole. The airflow designs giving you top or side airflow, massive pro on the way that the airflow is angled down to make it virtually leak proof. So both of those things, excellent in my opinion. Flavor on this is very good. Not gonna put it up there with the Haku and the Flav and the Hussar only for one reason, and it's a subjective reason. Like, uh... For me, the D-Mod solo, it gives you a, a throat hit. I get a throat hit off, no matter what juice I run, no matter what coil I use, it gives you a little bit of a throat hit, which is a pro to a lot of people, especially people that enjoy mouth to lung, like you'll fucking love this thing.
I was never a smoker, so I, I don't think, I think that's the reason why I don't enjoy the throat hit or Nick salts or stuff like that. I, I was a chewer. Just so you know, like this does give you, it does give you a throat hit. But the flavor, the flavor is very good. The flavor is very good. It's not in my top three. It's in my top, it's in the top probably, it's in the top 10. My kind of rating on the flavor is totally subjective because if you're mouth to lung or you like a throat hit, then you will love this. And the fact that you get tons of accessories, all of that with high-end stuff usually is the case. You know, it's not specific to this particular RDA. Another pro on the machining, the build deck. I mean, it's one, two, three, super easy. Slap the coil down, tighten up both your leads. Your coil is essentially right where it needs to be. This is a three millimeter coil too. This is, usually I run like a 2.5 but I have a three in there and it's handling it just fine. The overall deck, it's designed very, very well. It's, 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 it's a nice design. Price. Fucking explain this shit to Now how much is the Solo going to cost you? Well, I don't know because I didn't buy it. None of these were charged to me. So I don't know what fictitious character paid, but between like this and all the top caps and shit like that, I'm guessing he paid around like $200. Mm, McLev, McLevin. Somewhere in the neighborhood, but if you're just ordering the RDA, which comes with the 22 millimeter side airflow cap, which I showed you, this guy, right there. You can find these on like uh, Vape, Nushi, and Vape and Art. They're like around $115. I know that there's Facebook groups and stuff like that, so you guys can use your, and, and also you can, for all these high end things that I'm showing you, you can always go into like high-end Addy Trader and like, you know, secondhand used trade stock. I mean, trust me, buying a used high-end device is not, there's nothing wrong with that. I've purchased a lot of them because some of them are really hard to get on the on the list and stuff like that. Like the, the Haku Vena, which I won. A little much, a little much. It's nice that you can go on other sites now and get this. It's not just solely on like a Facebook group or some type of a quick strike list or anything like that. So you're going to be looking in the neighborhood of a hundred bucks to 120 bucks. If you're if you're in a, a like a high end Addy Trader group or something like that, you know you can always find these things with packages. That's the best way to buy it. Buy it with like four different caps. You know, let the original purchaser spend two hundred and fifty dollars on this and all the caps and everything else, and then you buy it off him for one fifty. T and E, T and E. Yeah, I said T and E. No, no, you said T and A. No, I didn't. Yeah, you did. You did. Why yeah, did you I did. Say you that? said T and A. Right? Sell high, buy low. That's how it works. Economics one one. I don't maybe. All right, so that is all that I have for you guys on the D-Mods Solo Single Coil RDA, swapped and sent to me by Fictitious Character, AKA the Vaping Encyclopedia. This man has forgotten more about vaping than I'll ever know. Thank you kindly, sir. How the fuck else would you do this job? Thank all of you for tuning into the channel, watching the videos, liking, not liking, subscribing, unsubscribing, I love it all. It's all action, love the comments and just much appreciated. And on that note, I don't know what's going on out there today, but I do know that it's Friday, my favorite day, payday. Time to go buy some shit. Other than that, around here, on this high as fuck end looking, this is Ant Diamond with D-Mod on top. It is definitely all love. Catch you on the next one.